Hi, it's Chester Topple at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to explore the new filter, sort and unique functions. What we want to be able to do at the end of the day is choose a branch from a drop down list here, choose a column to sort by in a drop down list here, and our formula will return a filtered version of this data over here according to these criteria. Now the first step uh, we want to achieve is to get a drop down list of branches and we're going to use the sort and unique functions to create the source data for that drop down list. So I'm going to do that over here. Now I'm not in fact I think I'm going to do it over here so it's kind of out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a unique list of branches. I'm going to use the new unique function to do that. First thing I have to do is give it an array of values I want to find the unique values from. That's our branch column. This is in an Excel table, so I can just click at the top of the table. And you can see that we have sales branch as our array. Now, these two options here by column, well, that basically says, is the data in rows or in columns? Does it go down or does it go across? The default is by row. So I can actually leave that out. But the last argument there is basically saying true, occurs once true, so that will only return values that appear only once. False will appear will return all of the unique values and that's also the default so in other words i just need to specify the range so that basically returns all of the unique values now i then want to sort that list so i can put the unique function in the sort function and again by default it's going to sort them in alphabetical order so i'm going to ignore all of these other arguments present to here and I have a list of branches uh, that are sorted in alphabetical order. By the way, if I was to add another branch here, because this is a table, so for example, if I went down here and put Chichester, Chichester will automatically be included in my list. Okay, now I'm just going to get rid of that extra column. So, what I can do is use this list as the data validation sort source for my drop down list so to create the drop down list i click into k6 go up to data on my ribbon data validation button allow list source is my list here ah now there is actually a better way of doing this if you want to return refer to the entire spilled array uh, that the unique and sort functions have returned, what you can do is just say S6 and then hash. Now, that's a better way of doing things than actually selecting all the cells, and I'll show you why. If I click on OK, you can see that this does return the list of branches. But if I add that extra branch again, because I'm return, referring to the whole of the spilled array with that hash symbol, you can see that Chichester automatically appears on the list. Okay, so that's the way to do it. Use that little hash symbol to return to the whole spilled array, no matter how small or large it eventually gets. Okay, I'm just deleting that extra row again. So now basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, um, show records for London and I want to sort by say branch no not branch that would be rubbish let's sort by revenue so I'm going to write a little uh, formula in here that will return those actual records let's just zoom in a bit for you now I'm going to use the filter function to achieve this now filter, first of all, asks for an array. So where's your source data for your filter? So that's our entire table, because it's a table, Excel table, I'm just clicking the corner there. 
I've called it sales, called the total sales, comma. Now, what do I want to include? Well, I have to set up a rule here for what I want to include. Basically, I want to say where the branch equals London. So I can say where my branch column, let's click on the top there, equals whatever I've chosen in this drop down list. Comma, the last argument there says if empty, where well, you could leave a little message. So if the filter function returns no records, I can say no records found. Okay, so if I press enter, what it will do is it will return those records. If I change this to another branch, it returns those records, etc. etc. Now, what I want to do though is to sort it on whatever column I choose here. So, therefore, what I can do is put this in the sort function. So the array is returned by the filter function, that's already there. Sort index, that's asking which column you want to sort by, the numeric position of that column. So what I've got to do is find the numeric position of whatever I choose in this drop down list within these row headers. And to do that, I can use the match function. So the match function returns the position of a value within an array of values. So I can say this is my lookup value, comma, and this is my array of values, cells, headers. Draw backspace to get back to my formula. So then I've got that last argument within the match function. I'm doing an exact match. Close the bracket. Sort order. Well, I'm going to say I want it in descending order. I guess you could have a little drop down list for ascending and descending and do a little if function to return either one or minus one or whatever, if you wanted to do that. And now my data is in rows, the default is row. So I'm going to leave out that last argument. So if I press enter, you can now see that the data is filtered, but it's also in descending order of whatever column I chose here. So if I chose, for example, date, it would re-sort the data in descending order of date. And as you know, if I change this to a different branch, it would also do that. Now, I've got to do a little bit of formatting here, but that would be easy to achieve. You could change that to date, whatever. But you can see how this is working. So there we are. There's an application for the unique, the sort, and the filter functions, all new in Excel. It's only in the beta version at the moment, but we should all have it in 2019. Thank you very much for watching. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.